so today we are picking up the problem of primary and secondary force balancing in in inline multi cylinder engine so what is the question let us go through the question first the successive crank of a five cylinder inline engine at are at 144 degree apart that is the angle between every two crank is 144 and there are five cylinder engine the spacing between the cylinder center line is 400 mm the length of the crank and the connecting rod are 100 mm and 450 mm respectively and the reciprocating mass per cylinder is 220 kg the engine speed is is, is 630 rpm determine the maximum value of the primary and secondary forces and couples so this is we have drawn there are five cylinder engine 1 2 3 4 and 5 the distance between every two is every two is 400 so distance here between any 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 of the two if you pick up is 400 mm now another thing what they have given is that the angle is increasing y144 so for cylinder number 1 if angle is 0 for cylinder number 2 it is 0 plus 144 that is 144 angle number 3 it is 144 plus 144 288 288 144 so it will be become more than 360 so we'll subtract 360 and we'll get 72 then again 72 plus 144 it will give us 260 so these are the angular positions now what what we are supposed to do we will now make similarly what we were doing in the dynamic balancing so we'll take the five planes 1 2 3 4 and 5 that is forces are acting along the center line of the cylinders in the engines so that, that is what we have taken 1 2 3 4 and 5 mass per cylinder is 20 which is given here in the question that mass of each cylinder is 20 so reciprocating mass is 20 20 for every every of the cylinder then again they have given us that the value of uh, crank radius is what is the crank radius crank radius is 100 mm so m into r will become 20 into 0.1 so that will become 2 so similarly for everything mr will become 20 into 0.2 20 20 into 0.1 that is 2 20 into 0.1 into that is 2 likewise every value of the mr is 2 now we have taken plane number 3 as a reference plane not necessary we can take any other plane as a reference plane but we are supposed to measure now distance of l with respect to this so distance of the first plane is 400 plus 400 that is 800 from here to here now 800 is 0.8 for cylinder number 2 the distance is here to here is 400 that is 0.4 for cylinder number 3 it is 0 for cylinder number 4 now it is downward so downward is negative minus 0.4 for cylinder number 5 it is minus 0.8 we have calculated mrl that is we are multiplied this 1.6 0.8 0 minus 0.8 minus 1.6 now we'll first calculate we'll go for the primary force polygon so how to make the primary force polygon we'll take the particular column this column now the angular position is to be taken from here and the value of force is to be taken from here so force number 1 is 2 angle is 0 so this is 2 we have drawn it like this we are 2 uh, no, sorry this is this is 1 we have drawn it 1 of 2 then from here we will have at 144 force number 2 that is again 2 so we are drawn here at 144 it is force because of cylinder 2 then cylinder number 3 is at 288 so this is like this then cylinder number 4 is at 72 it is going to be like this and cylinder number 5 is going to be at 216 so it is going to be like this and it will automatically get closed so the value of the four, fifth force is going to join at the starting of one that shows that polygon is closed it is an indication of that there is no primary unbalanced force now let us see what is primary couple polygon so we'll make first 
the couple number one, one point six, that is like this at zero. Then two, that is zero point eight at one forty four. Then three is zero, so not to be drawn. Four minus zero point eight, that is at seventy two. Now positive is towards this side. Arrow should be like this, and negative is towards the origin, like this. So this is what we have drawn for four. This arrow head is coming like this. This is because of being negative. Then for five again it is negative. So negative is now it is positive is in this direction, and negative it is in this direction towards the axis. So this is five. Now we'll see that this is closing here. and the initial point was this so that means this is not a closed polygon that means we we will make it closed and this side will measure will give me the value of mrl that is unbalanced primary couple so to calculate unbalanced primary couple what i should do i'll take the primary unbalanced couple is mrl into omega square omega we have calculated earlier 2 pi n by 60 so we'll use this and this value is going to be 9.48 so this is how in this question we see that prime the primary forces are balanced whereas primary couple are not balanced and this is the amount of unbalanced couple now we'll see how to calculate secondary force and secondary couple for this for this we have to reproduce this diagram so in the secondary crank position this was primary crank position secondary crank position the angle are doubled so whatsoever are the angles here that is to be doubled in this diagram so one double of 0 uh, is 0 so this is at 0 144 is doubled 288 likewise 288 is doubled and ultimately it will get by after subtracting 360 216 Then 72 is doubled as 144. 216 will be doubled uh, as 72 finally by subtracting 360. So now we have get, got the new diagram for crank position. For this is known as secondary crank. It is an imaginary diagram. Now out of this, along with this, this is the crank position diagram. We will have to use the same table what we have drawn here to reproduce. to reproduce or to develop the force secondary force polygon and secondary couple polygon let us understand how to do it so we have drawn first first force that is along this at 0 degree the value is mr2 like this then force number 2 at 288 the diagram is going to be different now Then three, then four, then five. Again, it is getting closed. That means the meaning of it is that the secondary force polygon is closed. It means that there is no unbalanced secondary force existing in this system. Now we will see what is going to be what is going to be couple polygon for this. So we have drawn, we have taken these values and these angles. So we have drawn one, where one is closing two, where two is closing three is zero. So four, four is like this. Now it is negative. So again, be careful. Negative is towards the center. So four number is this. So two forty four should be. This is positive, and negative should be like this. So this is why this is taken. Arrow is taken in this direction, negative direction. Similarly for five, this is negative. so this is taken as 5 now this is here what we will see this is the final point this is the initial point they are it is not getting automatically closed so we are supposed to draw it so this is the value or magnitude of i'll say m r l that is that is the value to determine what is going to be secondary unbalanced couple how to determine the couple that is now we have calculated mrl that is required to be multiplied by omega square and divide by n and the value will come out 
वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड ओमेगा स्क्वायर एन इज एल बाई आर रेशियो वेयर एल इज लेंथ ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड आर इज लेंथ ऑफ क्रैंक सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी 450 फिफ्टी बाई हंड्रेड एज पर गिवेन डाटा दैट इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव विल पुट इट हेयर एंड वी कैन डिटरमाइंड सेकेंडरी अनबैलेंस कपल इज दिस सो फाइनली वी कैन से दैट इन दिस क्वेश्चन प्राइमरी फोर्सेज आर बैलेंस सेकेंडरी फोर्सेज आर बैलेंस प्राइमरी कपल इज नॉट बैलेंस एंड सेकेंडरी कपल इज ऑल्सो नॉट बैलेंस एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दैट कैन बी गिवेन सो लाइक वाइज वी कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ इन लाइन मल्टी सिलेंडर इंजन्स फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्राइमरी फोर्सेज प्राइमरी कपल्स सेकेंडरी फोर्सेज एंड सेकेंडरी कपल सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन टैकल दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन थैंक यू